It can happen in an instant. One moment a child can be perfectly safe, and the next, fighting for her life, as Leah Eads and her husband Deward found out on August 13th, 1991, at their home in Renton, Washington. It was late in the afternoon. I was babysitting my two grandchildren, Kendra and Jared. My husband was asleep on the lawn chair. Kendra asked me if she could go in and get a graham cracker, and I told her yes, and come right back out. I'm thinking she must be cut somewhere. So I looked her over and didn't see anything right there on the spot. So I carried her on into the kitchen and put her on the counter and kept looking her over. Is she bleeding? And then she stiffened up all of a sudden and just went completely limp. And at that time is when I seen the blood pumping out of her chest cavity. It was just a fountain of blood I have never seen anyone lose blood like that before. I took her pulse in, there was no pulse, in, and also there was no breathing. I put my right hand over the wound, so then I started giving her mouth to mouth. But I, I could feel the air that I was blowing into her little body was just blowing right through her system and bubbling right out, out under my right hand. Dispatcher Michelle Locko took the call for help. Is that a house or an apartment? House. What's the problem there? Um, my granddaughter runs through a, a storm door, and uh, she's bleeding bad, and I think she's in shock. Or... How old is she? She's five. It was a glass storm door? Yes, uh-huh. I pictured a basic life support call. You know, probably lacerations, but nothing, nothing life-threatening. A12, an injured child, 2319 Northeast Street. Rescue workers from the Renton Fire Department were dispatched to the scene. Where is she bleeding from? Um, down by her heart. Where? It's in her chest. Tell me how deep the cut is. I, I don't know. It's spurting out. I immediately realized it was a very serious situation. A child can't sustain the kind of blood loss that an adult can for the simple reason they don't have that much blood in their body. Is that her crying? No, that's a baby. Okay, is she, she conscious? She's uh, incoherent. What do you mean incoherent? She isn't talking or anything. Please, just hurry him. Ma'am, they're already being dispatched, okay? My job is to talk to you and find out more information. Okay, I really Ex don't know. I don't okay, know. Okay, ma'am, you have to calm down in order to help your grandchild. I, I know, I know. Tell me what incoherent means. Is she awake? No, she isn't. Is she able to breathe? Uh, my husband is breathing into her. She's not breathing? Really? Yes, he's, they are. Is she breathing? Uh, I don't know. Can you check? Put the phone down Is she and breathing, check. Stuart? No. no, she isn't. Information about the seriousness of the little girl's condition was immediately passed on to the rescuers. Five-year-old that went to a storm door to have severe chest The child is now unconscious. King County Advanced Life Support Unit was also sent to help, but it was 10 miles away. Is she still bleeding? Yes. Mm -hmm. Is the blood bubbling out of her chest? It, it was spurting out. My husband has his hand over it, so... Okay, does he have it completely sealed with his hand? Yes, uh-huh. The possibility that she would die in front of her grandmother and her grandfather went through my mind. saran wrap or something plastic that he can put over that injury, okay? All right. You put the phone down, do that, and come All back. All right, I will. Putting plastic wrap on the chest wound would have sealed the injury until the aid crew arrived, and it would have prevented the air from moving in and out of the body and prevented a collapsed lung. But she didn't come back to the phone. And without knowing why she didn't return to the phone, all I could do was imagine. Maybe she was already dead. When we continue, 
there was no heart rhythm at all, no electrical activity at all, nothing that would keep that little person alive. 